Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, Darkness Falls. My name is Spange. And uh, a quick introduction to brand new partner on these streams. And that is my brand new Elgato Wave 3 microphone. So if I'm sounding a little bit different, that'll be why. But uh, I gave up trying to get my old microphone sounding how it was. I decided to buy a bloody new one. Thank you very much Logitech for screwing everything up. You guys are awesome. Keep it up. Um, but also, yeah, thank you to Elgato for very, very quickly next day delivering this mic. And very big thanks to Kravik of uh, Diminata Gaming, who helped me over the course of several hours to tweak, install, set up, test all the VSTs and voice modifications and stuff like that to get this sounding as it sounds now, which I hope you agree is much better than what it was, obviously, as always. I appreciate comments and feedbacks down below. Let me know what you guys think. Now, what I've been doing, obviously last episode was moving day and we moved to a new house. We haven't moved into it just yet. Um, I have loaded the bike up here with a load of workbenches and lockable player cabinets and upgrade things, doors and whatnot. Even a robotic turret, although I haven't made any ammo for it. That's to come. Plus myself, of course, with a bunch of stuff, including a blank class book, uh, which we're going to have a look at at the moment because there are so many great choices for class and I'm having a real hard time deciding which one we should go through, uh, go for, um, and a bunch of sort of crafting materials as well so that once we get to the new base, we are able to set it up and then hopefully I can then just spend a bit of time back and forth between this place and our new home, the other side of the map. Why do you say the other side of the map? You know, a fair old distance away. Towards the wastelands, towards the... Is that a tough zombie? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? That is the black smoke coming off of that. Is that demonic? Hang on, is it demonic? I thought the demonic was red, wasn't it? That's a tough 900 hit points zombie worker. Okay, we're just going to ride away from that guy. Do we, whatever direction that guy is going in, we're going in the opposite. <laughs> Basically. How about no on that one? Yeah, um, yeah, no, there's a lot of radiated, and uh, that's a tough radiated zombie right there. What is going on? Day 23, our game stage is 126. I think it may have just crossed another threshold of, ah, crap, kind of. That's, that's the gauge I'm using, another radiated tough zombie there. A radiated tough Mildred, probably about 1,200 hit points if I had to hazard a guess. Yikes, things are getting scary, and just as we're about to move freaking house as well. Great timing, thanks game. Anyway, this whole kind of moving house activity and stuff should actually slow down our progression a little bit. So that we can maybe, hopefully, possibly, if we're lucky and things go our way, um, survive another horde night in the current horde base. But I need to get to work real soon on producing our new horde base in our uh, near near our new base location um and it needs to be much bigger much more heavily armored much more deadlier so basically the way that i'm gonna go with the new horde base is i gotta go very much hard on traps yeah real hard on traps so lots of dark traps blade traps um, obviously Punchy is going to play an integral part. Electric traps. Um, we're going to try and get some shotgun turrets set up and all of that stuff. And we're basically going to try and get the base to do as much thinning out of the zombies as possible before they get to me. I have a design in mind. It is big and it is going to take a lot of resources and a lot of grind and so on and so forth. And that brings me to my next quandary. <laughs> this trip, usually I'd cut this trip, put a nice bit of music on, you know, you'd have a few little nice little, oh, look at that, they're pretty, in it? No, I'm just going to waffle on the entire time. <laughs> My next quandary is this. Kane, the developer of Darkness Falls. Um, lovely guy. Bit of an asshole. <laughs> he made Darkness Falls, you know, he's got to be, right? <laughs> um... He's obviously still developing and putting a lot of effort into Darkness Falls to the point where he has actually released a new version of Darkness Falls into the dev branch. 
Now, that's not so much of an issue at the moment because I'm playing on the stable branch that doesn't affect me. However, inevitably, that dev branch, once it goes through whatever testing that Kane desires it to go through, will eventually end up as the stable branch. Shut up, Lightning. I'm trying to talk. Um, when it goes into the stable branch, now, my game directory is off in another place. Steam isn't going to auto-update anything unless I do it manually, and I have to do it manually. But here's the thing. If I stay on this version of Darkness Falls, great. I can continue with this playthrough. Everything is fine as it is. However, I will be playing a version of Darkness Falls that is out of date that is redundant, that has been surpassed, has been corrected and adjusted and rearranged and patched and fixed and, and things like that. What is the point? That was good timing on that lightning. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. Sorry, so I passed the question off to you. What should I do? Because it is, it is a serious decision to make and I value your input as always. Um, it's part, a big part of me is like, ah, crap, well, you're going to have to go on to the new version. You're going to have to go on to the new version because nobody's going to be interested in me playing the old version of Darkness Falls. Nobody's going to be interested in what was against what could be. And then the other part of me is, well, I haven't really even got started in this playthrough yet. You know what I mean? Everything's just starting now to warm up. And I'll have to restart and start again. So that's the question I want to ask you. What should I do? Should I continue? Should I go screw you Kane and your update? I'm going to carry on in this version and continue the story and where we've got to so far. Or do we embrace the change? Do we embrace the new version? Do we take it on? Do we start afresh in Darkness Falls? And here's an even third option just to freaking stir the pot even more. Do we even continue in Darkness Falls? Or do we perhaps try something else? Like Undead Legacy. Maybe we should re revisit Ravenhurst. Or another mod. Man is... As I said. A quandary. And I'd be very, very interested to see what you guys say about said quandary. In the comments down below. I look forward to hearing from you. Anyway. Enough about that. We are here. We are at our new home. Our new place. There's a survivor. Nearly shot him in the head. No big deal. All right. So I think like last time I said, I'm going to stick with the plan here. We're going to basically knock a bunch of walls down, knock a bunch of this whoops, stuff out. Yeah, I might need to upgrade that, shouldn't I? <laughs> I might need to upgrade the, uh, the rubbish blocks to cobble at least, so you can't just whack them. Oops, that's not the right one. Whack them out with one single hit. And now that's not even then painted. It's the different... Nah, it's ruined. Ruined. Moving out. Moving out. Different plan. Let's go. This place sucks. <laughs> um, you know, we've got... We've got these stairs down into the garage here, which is nice. Um, but we might block these off. You think... The, 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 the question I have is, do I, do I build my entrance here? So the horde base style entrance at the top of these stairs. So I stop the zombies here, basically. Okay. So I could have... Some, uh, bars or whatever on the sides, a hatch in the middle, and uh, I could fight the zombies if they come up here from this position. Hey, cow! And then that means I can I can keep this uh, side entrance here. And that also means that I don't need to do anything with these walls in particular, other than maybe seal them off and put a door in place. You know? Or do I build the horde base entrance back here, um, and then have maybe some side hatches down the side that I can jam them from to be honest realistically that ain't gonna ever happen because i'm always going to be at the hatch should there be a zombie incursion i'm going to be here fighting them so i think the first option is probably the sensible one still uh in this place that we now call home um we have a lot of walls to knock down it's basically house flipper at this point <laughs> it really is uh this whole wall and this this room is going to open up into this corridor this room and this corridor this room as well this wall all of this whole ground floor thing is going to be open plan except what i might do is keep a pillar here just for structure integrity i, I worry that 
as I start knocking things down, well, you know, we're going to start losing some integrity. So I think we need to do a little bit of planning in terms of where the support is. Okay. Um, so, for instance, that pillar there, this one right here, is good support. Although in these middle um, shelves, I plan to remove. Uh, although, actually, they will also be support. Basically, those cardboard boxes will be holding up that ceiling. Anyway, the thing figuring what I could do here is go... Uh, let's take you out there, right? Okay, so that lets me know above where the supporting pillar is. Now I know that it's there, basically. That's the supporting pillar for this floor. If I extend that up to the roof, that half block... That is a whole block, isn't it? If I extend that up to the roof. Let me uh, do this properly. Like that. That then is now our supporting pillar and it means I can now more comfortably take out all these walls and stuff and bearing in mind that this is going to be a very open plan that pillar is not going to be an issue at all we're going to have lots of room in here uh, and then of course there's this kitchen now I want to keep the kitchen as is I don't really want to take uh, here's the thing I can't use these cupboards I can't use these cupboards I can't use this oven I can't use any of this stuff that's here so although I'd like to keep the kitchen as is, I feel like it's probably all going to have to come out. <laughs> it's all going to have to come out. Um, but things like this guy over here, all of this stuff, we are going to redo so that it's actually nice. But this uh, crowbar is going to get a hell of a workout right now of destroying all of this stuff. How has Bin got 250 health? I tell you, the Bin takes more effort to destroy than a 5,000 hit point wall. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Win. Okay, so don't... Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, let's uh, let's open this all up then. Oh, hold on. I think I just heard a screamer. I did, I did, I did. There is a screamer afoot. Not today, Madam Screamy Bitch. Not today. I will take your loot bag, though. So apparently destroying a lot of blocks pulls in stream screamers. Um, I'll keep an ear out, basically. I have to now. All right, anyway. Okay, so. That is all these rooms cleared out. So you can see what I mean by it's going to be reasonably open pan plan. Uh, from the crafting room point of view and that I think is probably going to be the last wall although I'd like to close that off there I feel the half blocks are going to let me down a little bit here yeah that's that's okay I can just take these guys out as well and there we go we've got a sort of door frame there as it were and that'll be our, our main entrance I guess okay that sounds like another Screamer. I've had this will be the third one now. Where is the bitch? Go on, do a little. Rawr. That's a cow. All right, where is she? So many ways into this house right now. <laughs> It'll be difficult. I hear something to my right. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Ow, that hurt! Thank you very much, Mr. Survivor. You distracted her long enough for me to get the killing blow. Absolutely great having. Ah, frickin' bull sacks. You left these frickin' spikes everywhere, dude. Honestly. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. Shotgun and a potato. Love it. <laughs> a shotgun schematic and a potato. Uh, things are looking up. Okay. Uh, right, yeah, I will need to deal with all these spike traps because, as you can see, they do more damage to me than the zombies, so that's fine. All right. So, yeah, this is going to be our crafting area. Now, I left this in. I'm going to take out this door here and seal this off, I think. This huge pillar here. I'm not even sure why there is such a big, massive... 
blocks here. This seems unnecessary. But that is concrete, so it must be supporting. All right, I'm going to take this out. Seal this bit off. Because the kitchen is going to go in this kind of corner section here. I figure if I seal this off like that, then this leaves a nice little space for a fridge and something. You know, I don't know. Starting to take a little shape now. We've got some workbenches in. I've put some of the stuff here and the storage in as well, or what I've managed to make so far. Let's see when I get the forges up in here, then I'll be able to pour out a bit more nails and finish off this storage wall here. None of it's going to be labelled, of course, because it's all just lockable cabinets, but you can see how much room is in these things. So, although I can't label them, I'll know what they are because I placed them and filled them up. Right, so I think it's about time we actually started sealing this place up a little bit. Um, so we're going to start with putting a door there. This just gets me access to the balcony, and I can, you know, oversee what's going on outside from there. Now, for this section here... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use like um, double bars. Now I need to use the ones that are, I think it's these ones here, pillars, double, that's it. Uh, let's see if we can get that on face. There we go, right? So they shouldn't be able to get through that. And uh, if we took them top and bottom, like that. And then, of course, we can either have a door there. That'll obviously limit my ability to shoot anything. So we're going to put a hatch there instead, and that is the right way around. Yes, it is. Lovely. Um, and then obviously I'll be able to sort of jab or whatever from the side there. Be able to upgrade these guys to concrete. Yep. And then obviously, um, I haven't got any raw iron on me, really? Okay, well, I saw that in a second. And then obviously for that, we need a single bar. So this guy here. There he is. And that hopefully will stop them from being able to get through. I don't anticipate much activity at the front door here, but you've always got to have something in place, right? Uh, and then, of course, we could just um, we can just plate the rest off. And there we go. We have a hatch upgraded. I've also got a door down there to the garage as well. And uh, I'll get some junk turret ammo and I'll have a little turret there just watching that. And then I've bunkered it yet again with another door here. We're turning this very much turning this luxury house into a bunker right now. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll get another um, metal workbench in here. I'll probably try and figure out where the hell I can put another chemist station at some point. And uh, then we've got a workbench. I need to go back to get the forges. Uh, and then the crafting table here. And this is where our kitchen is going to be. It's going to be very small, but I'm going to have a player oven uh, either on that wall there underneath those cabinets or something like that anyway. And we'll have a fridge there. Not that the fridge is functional at the moment. It's purely decorative, but, you know. Right, so I just need to go about and actually seal this place up now. Um, so I'm going to put another door here so that I can get out into this balcony. But otherwise, this window is all coming out and is going to be sealed off apart from the big iron door. All right, so I cleared out the garage here and then I realized that these guys are concrete. They're concrete all the way around. That's 500 hit, 5,000 hit points, each one of these panels. So looking at the garage doors available, you can get up to seven by four. Um, so that's obviously three. That's obviously three. The one in the middle making seven. But then I've got this pillar here to deal with as well. So that cow is attacking that survivor. I don't know what's going on. So the 7x4 would be great. I'd have to take out basically hmm, every, everything from that curve up to the top there. That top block included because that's the, the four there, isn't it? One, two, three, four, I think. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So it'd have to be basically that all the way along there, all the way to that one and down to get a seven by four and then remove this pillar up to this point as well. And that would, I don't know, I just guess it'd have to float there or something. Um, structure integrity wise, that should be fine. I don't think this is a very supporting pillar. 
That one, however, there probably is a very supporting pillar. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a that's a tricky call to make. The other option is I go by a, a, a four by a five by four. So I could take out one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and just have that there. That should one those should be big enough to get most things through. I could probably then take that pillar out and have it plated rather than it would look a bit weird though. But in order to get the garage big enough to fit, well, I don't know what I'm going to get. I mean, let's assume that the aim is to get a Marauder because that thing is freaking badass and everybody loves a Marauder. I'm definitely going to need at least the 5x4 memory serves. That thing is both very tall and very wide. The roll-up 7 would be ideal. That's going to take some thinking. It's also going to take a lot of digging. I have got an auger back at base, which would make things a lot quicker. Um, just have to be ready for the screamers to come rushing in. Okay, so I want to have a little go at the the fences now. The outer wall. Uh, now that the interior is mostly done, I need to seal off the ground floor there. That's it, really. But you can start to see from the outside now the bunker on the upper floor is starting to take shape. We we're starting to bunker ourselves in a bit. That window there, I don't know, I might just leave that at the moment. It's just a bathroom. But uh, let's see if we can get these walls sealed up. And then, of course, I want to do, like I said before, the, the an outer ring of... I don't think I've got the cobble for this, so I might need to go in and start making some cobble. But an outer ring of bars, like we saw on that gas station a few episodes back. I seem to have a pet chicken. I'm going to keep him, and I'm going to call him Larry. Hello, Larry. Welcome to my house. How the fuck did you get in here? Genuinely. How did you get in here? <laughs> I know it seems weird to build a fence all the way around your base made of merely just wood <laughs> to then open up a huge hole. <laughs> at the front. Trust me. I have a plan. I have to believe in the system. <laughs> no, no. Um, so that should be wide enough for a 7x4 garage door roly-poly thing. Problem I have with, like, roly-poly garage doors and stuff is they need to be electrified. So I'm going to need to generate fuel and stuff. But that's okay. Oh my god, that's the way down there. Is that Wastelands? That is almost certainly Wastelands. Lovely. Well, we're not getting that anytime soon. Screw it. Okay, I think it's time we head back to our old base and we collect everything else. I mean, we're not going to be able to get everything else in one go. Um, but I can get the important stuff. The rest of the crafting materials, the rest of the benches, the advanced forges that should now be ready. Hopefully. Um... And yeah, it's not the glorious process of actually moving the rest of the stuff over here. And then once everything is here, um, I think we should probably have a look at, because one of the things that I want is I want sinks and ovens, right? Which means I need plumbing for dumb shits. And I can't remember the other one. Kitchens for dumb shits or something like that. Like ovens, player ovens. Of ovens. Kitchens for dumb shits. Yeah, it was that one. And then um, sink. The working player sinks is plumbing for dumb shit. So I think there's... I don't know for sure. And you guys might be able to tell me in the comments. But I think what I need to hit up is working stiff tools. And possibly cafes and restaurants and stuff like that. Now I might be able to get those two books from those locations. I think. I think. There's, there is some logic that Kane has put into um, the looting and such. So I mean we can have a quick look through town here. And I'm... No doubt there's plenty of restaurants and working stiff tools to choose from around here. It always kind of... always kind of surprises me the frame drop that you get when you come into town. It was running at a smooth 59.5 frames per second. Let's just round it up to 60. And then you come into town and that drops to 28. Or sort of 30. Well, I suppose, you know, we are looking at the Dijon... The mighty, the indomitable, the unforgiving 
Dijon Tower. Because if I look over there, it's nice. If I look over there, it's shite. <laughs> uh, shut up, you lot. Uh, that seems to be leading nowhere, that road. So let's, um, let's do a bit of cowboy motorcycling. Uh, the Dijon Tower. So far, actually, not much in the way of restaurants here in the city centre. Meltdowns. Meltdowns. Then you got the Cracker Book. The Tier 5 Cracker Dadaka. Lots of booby bars and not out theatres. Yeah, there you go. So there's a big working stiff tools there. Um, we got a bunch of bar shops and stuff like that. There's a big restaurant there. Hurry Harry's. Then there's a Shamways as well. Hopefully, I'm right about this. But let's go and fetch as much stuff as we can from the old base. And then we'll uh, we'll go and poke a couple of these POIs, I think. Alrighty. Okay, so this guy is good. Let's pick you up. Eat something. And we should have our fusion forges done by now. Yeah, three, three advanced forges, not fusion, sorry. A fridge. And we'll pick this guy up as well. It doesn't look like I can pick up the chicken coops. Um, so, okay. Destroying one gives me just wood. Okay, yeah, that's a shame. Okay, I'll have to rebuild all the chicken coops then. I don't think they were particularly expensive. No, it's just some eggs and stuff. Okay, which I should more than get from... You know, actually destroying the coops and emptying them in the first place, so not a big deal. Snares as well. Uh rebuild those. They're pretty good meat source. What's so the farm? Um I, again I don't believe I could pick up these farm plots. I think we got the seeds. Oh, what the hell just happened there? That farm plot just disappeared. <laughs> I turned the farm plot into um, ploughed soil. <laughs> the good news is that I can pick up all the seeds and stuff, so I will come and do that when we're ready to move the farm. Now, what about these beehives? Can these be moved? Doesn't look like it. No. I'm holding E. Nothing's happening. Can we wrench them? No. Can take them out this way. Oh, that gives me a whole beehive back. So that's good. Okay, excellent. We need to rebuild those. Hello, darling. Bye-bye, darling. Uh, cool. All right. Alrighty. Well, you can tell it's been a little while because uh, I've changed my t-shirt. <laughs> Welcome to the next day of recording. My god, I think, however, that we are moved over completely. I don't think I've left anything behind. I think everything is here now. I have got my advanced forges set up. They're currently pouring out darts and making ready for day 30 ordinate because it is now already day 25. My that god, that went bloody quickly, didn't it? A big forge is there as well, just because I can't actually afford another advanced one. Uh, I've made a couple of mods. So I made a couple of mods because I realized that a lot of my stuff didn't have structural braces on them. So I've now upgraded them all with structural braces where applicable. And I've actually got a couple left over as well. So um, new tools and stuff later. Uh, I could, I've got a couple of structural braces there. I'm also making myself a level 41 stun baton because i have a level 37 at the moment which has done wonderfully well but i didn't realize until i checked just now i can make a level 41 why the hell am i not doing that so we're gonna have a new stun baton there i was out of curiosity just checking as well whether we could make um a better rifle perhaps for ourselves but at the moment we can make the ar-15 but only level 21 and that's because obviously we need to spec into uh gun crafting we have spec into tool and weapon crafting, which is probably why we can do up to level 41. Um, sorry, 
31. Where the hell am I getting 41 stun batons from? I didn't even know. Probably the science stuff over here or whatever. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, the point is, I can make one. And now we've all bang out a skill point uh, to spend on things. And there's so much more stuff than I would like to spend them on. Quicker crafting. You know, great weapon crafting. Definitely time for some level 41 bows and guns and stuff. We really need to upgrade our firepower. Um, and our ability to make ammunition as well, of course. So I do need to go out. I need to find a coal vein. I think that big black mark there is a demon portal. So let's not go anywhere near that. Um, but I, I'm not sure the map is entirely trustworthy when it comes to where certain veins are. Obviously, we found a lead over there. That's good. Um, anywhere back here could be coal. Any of these rocks could be iron and so on. And nitrate. So we need to identify a coal, iron and nitrate mine so I can just go diggy diggying. Probably for the next three days, so I can craft so much gunpowder and bullet tips and, and casings and stuff like that. Just so I've got a little bit more than just 300 rounds uh, in this thing and 42 shotgun rounds in this thing. It's not even loaded. So embarrassing. Um, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so our stun baton should be ready now. There she is. We are going to take all of you out of the U. And we're going to put all of you back in U. Plus. One optional extra upgrade. Um, I'm not even sure what that's going to be at this point, but uh, perhaps the structural brace is already there. The ergonomic grip is already there. The repulsor mod is already there. So what on earth do we put in there? <laughs> I don't know. Rad remover would be excellent. We had a rad remover, uh, but it's on punchy at the moment. So can I make a rad remover? I think that's a tier three mod. Yeah, and it's currently locked behind science crafting. Um, placeable flag. A flag that can be placed and picked up. Useful for marking points of interest. Okay. Because the map points are just not good enough. <laughs> right. Cool. Alright. No, no big deal. Yeah, so we need to get into the tier 3 mods, which is actually this guy over here, I think. Sorry. No, science crafting is here. So we get T2 mods from that. That would be good. T3 mods obviously down at tier 5. And the rad remover, I think... Possibly. I'm hoping it's tier two. Rad remover. Tier three. Of course it is. All right. So we'll have to rely a little while on the looty loots for that. Okay. So uh, that's enough of the base stuff. Um, I'm going to do a lot more work off camera in here, I think, just to sort of make it nice. But I mean, we've got the writing room here. And I think I might just put another couple of cabinets there for all the paper and stuff so that we actually have a nice little library. At the moment, I've got all my paper up on the wall here. And still this blank, blank class paper. Okay, let's actually look into this, shall we? What freaking class do we go now? I'm, I'm thinking the game is really dialing up. So I'm tempted by either Hunter or survive, uh, Security. Now, obviously, Mechanic would be great. It'd be great to get some vehicles and, and go about. But at the moment, we're managing fine with the motorbike. So I think it's a fairly low priority. And the Hunter gives you Stealth, the Huntsman, which does more um, meat from animals and stuff. I'm not really interested in that. But rif rifles and bows do 50% extra damage on headshot, and then all the way up to 200% extra damage on headshot. And the Huntmaster, he gets you the sniper rival, the ghillie suit, titanium knives, crossbows, and so on and so forth. So it's very nice. Security, uh, flurry of blows. So it will make my stun baton very, very fast. Pain tolerance and armor specialist makes us more survivable. If we get hit and master security, then unlocks the M. 60 and tactical rigging that's pretty nice too <laughs> it's very nice oh i don't know so i think actually it's going to be security let's get the pain tolerance and flurry of blows and stuff now the security is a real pain in the ass to get through but it's fine we'll do it we will get through it security class craft and read here we go good luck out there thank you very much okay Let's uh, let's activate these uh, our our uh, active quests here. No, that's introducing Eve. There we go. Right, gather wood, gather club. So yeah, club. Craft it and then instantly scrap it. I think. There we go. Um, gather cloth fragments, plant fibers, and then padded armor. Right. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I I think we we all get it. I'm going to speed through this real quick and then uh, I'll come back to you when it's done. 
Okay, well, the next thing is to kill a bunch of zombies, so, um... That doesn't work. That just counted as one. What's the deal over here? You have protection and a weapon, so go out there and bash some zombie skulls. One pipe. Wait, rewards is a pipe. Use a wooden club. Ah, for crying out loud. Yeah, this is what's painful about these missions, I remember now. Okay, that worked. Two. Alright. And there's that one. I can get rid of this now. Oh, you're still alive. Right, so the next is kill any zombie with the bike pistol. Alrighty. There's one. Ah, oh, this is going to go uh, end really well, isn't it? At least it's daytime. There's three. Firing a gun in the middle of a city. It's a really good idea. Craft knuckles. <laughs> Gather leather. <laughs> Crap. Hey, okay, got some zombies to deal with first. Hey, right, leveled up. All right. <laughs> uh, please have leather. That would be great. Not quite, but you tried. At least you tried. All right, you can craft level 51 knuckle wraps. Kill the zombies with the knuckle wraps. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Using knuckle wraps. All right. This will go. This will take a while. Yeah. Well, at least he fell over. So that's a thing. I'm just going to pick up these hops while I'm at it. Oh, my Lord. These missions are amazing. This far into the game. You know, right at the beginning, it's from like kind of like, okay, oh, we're going to go strength and punching and brawling. Or whatever, I suppose, because, you know, you used a, a bat, a pistol, and a freaking fist at this point. Who knows what it's trying to get you to do. Hops everywhere, though. Look at all these hops. And I make beer. This is actually quite apt for having the knuckles on at the moment. Come here, mate. Oh! Juicy. Very juicy. Damn. Alrighty, so that's that all done. We have completed our quest chain for security that's good and we get a point in flurry of blows and pain tolerance already we got two points to spend so yeah okay melee attack speed 10 percent um damn increased mobility penalty of armor worn one percent per piece worn decreased stamina regen penalty for armor worn i mean i think i need to go into all three of these so the fact that this one doesn't have any points in it right now is the two i'm going to spend right now and then the next set of points i think we're going to put into crafting uh and get on with that so at least we've got a little bit more mobility now even in light armor you do have a mobility penalty so already i feel like i'm moving a lot better um so that's good all right uh there's a working stiff tools around the corner here so let's go and hit that up once i finish gathering all this free food out here it's amazing I do like about these uh, city center working stiff tools is they have all these like mailboxes around them. So you just sort of, you gotta, you gotta loot them because you get some juicy stuff out of these things sometimes. I got that freaking mastery book out of one, remember? So it's worth your time. And it's locked. Come on, don't make me out to be an asshole right now. Ah, oh, feck you guys. You suck. Break into your ATM and steal all your money. 1500 that's not that bad, actually. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's go. Zombies. How about ye? Where you at? Is this place empty? What the hell? Oh, hello, black smoke. Oh, that is undesirable. Okay, let's uh, stop being such an a-hole about this and go sneaky sneaky. 
Eh. We're going to need the steel arrows for this. The 11 in here, but maximum sneak damage is required if he stays asleep. He wakes up. I am relying wholly on the stun baton. thousand freaking hit points jeez and he only hit me like once or twice and I'm down bunch of health bunch of health that's what's up oh nice good looting lovely <laughs> alright let's uh anybody else in this place anything is fairly small little POI there's like one zombie in the entire thing are you kidding me right now can't be right oh there is a whole little Outback loading dock bay thing magic. Interesting. Don't know zombies in here though. What is going on? This is crazy. Like all this free stuff. All right, this. Um, yes, there might be something up there. I don't know, but let's let's get looting up in here. We what I'm really hoping for is like plumbing for dumb shits, not um, a paintbrush. <laughs> That's. Um, Paintbrush is shite. Let's move on. Okay, electric wire tool. Jesus, this, I mean, it is only a small working stiff, but still, 55 um, crowbar, that's lovely. That's kind of what I've got already, but it means that I've got one that I can combine with and, and keep it up and repaired. Oh, so you got another 51 crowbar. It's getting really dark in here. Two repair kits, very welcome. Bunch of cement as well, which we're going to need to dig up. And the wire tool, eh. Once you've got one wire tool, that's pretty much it. The only other thing you need multiple wire tools for is keeping them in multiple places, I guess. Um, yeah, there's a storm rolling in there. I think that's probably it for this working stiff, but there's another one. There's a massive one up the road that we found earlier, remember? Let's go hit that up. Just found a safe upstairs, actually, before we head out there. Uh, it's just some money. Hoping for a little final hurrah. Here we are. So, um, I'm really hoping my theory is correct on these things. And this is where we need to go to look for these books. Um, but if we don't find books, there's stacks of concrete and resources and stuff here. So it's not like a total loss anyway. Let's have a look around, shall we? Let's spawn some zombies. Let's go. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're up above. Oh. Spitty mix. Bloody hell. Dropping in, are we? Everybody gets a turn. Wait your freaking turn, all right? Woo! So that was intense. Certainly nailed it, though. And that's a Magnum 44. And that pulled in a lot of zombies from around the area. There's a lot of commotion. Yes, yes, I know, I know. You're all hungry for a bit of sponge, especially you, Jiggles. You dodged that arrow just for an extra taste of my... Right, anyway. Dickheads in the ceiling aside, that was reasonably okay. Yes, wake up. Me! Lunchtime. Come! Beast! Beast on my baton! Steve is getting extra frisky today. Oh, tough zombie, tough zombie. 900, 900 hit points, tough zombie. Concentrated effort on this one. There's a lot of outside zombies right now, not liking it. This looks like a, a lot like the Cracker Book. Uh, are you a feral or are you just a toughy boy? Oh, shit. Oh, you hurt. You hurt.
Hey Mildred, thanks for walking. Very kind of you. Okay, I think that that's done. We got another lot behind us now. This is typically why I do sneaky sneaky and not run and gun. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Run and gun approach is very fun, however. Ah, the trash and stuff in there. Interesting. Okay, okay. And this goes back out to the supermarket. Hello. Plane. Hang on. I should not have taken three shots to kill it. There we go. Low. Low. Okay, I think we are cleared out the zombie holes. Oh, there's a zombie hole. In the dick. Gerald! Ew. You guys made a lot of noise. Damn concrete saved you, Dave. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Die. Right. Where are these guys coming in? I just want to loot in peace, okay? That's all I want. I want to loot in peace. Is that so much to ask for? Apparently so. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Let the looting begin. Oh, there is a roof, actually. There is the roofy bit on the top of the roof up here. Let's have a little look, shall we? I'm expecting birds. I'm expecting air force. Air force. Or just general bastards. General bastards! Ooh, look. Two Smoky Joes over there. They look like tough radiated knob jockeys. Oh, there's another tough radiated knob jockey right here. They might just be radiated in fairness. How are you still alive? Oh, Bernie boy. Barrel Bernie boy. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, you get, you get thwarted by the stairs every time, though, don't you? Can I hit you from here? <laughs> yeah, you just stay there. Dead, stay there. Through with you, yeah. Oh, you figured out the stairs, you cheeky bastard. Now you have to start again. Yeah? Okay, you're dead. Whatever. You suck! Good loot. Oh, okay. Into the, the cavity holes we go. Doggo! X-Doggo! What else we got up here? Have we got anything else up here? Or is this just literally like a little hidey hole for some roof barbecue goodness? Hi. Oh, getting back up, are we? Have another think about that. Come back to me. Okay, grenade schematic. Damn you. Alright, so, Mookie Joes, they were here, but now they don't seem to be here anymore. Interesting. I feel like those are the ones that jumped me earlier, and that might have been like a little graphic glitch or something. In any case... Let's go down into the hole of destiny. After we shoot your get, shoot your sorry ass. Sit down. Get up. Anyway, hole of destiny. Hmm. 
Interesting. <laughs> Run over the panels, otherwise they'll collapse. They, they seem pretty stable so far. Oh, shit, Bean. They weren't fake. They were really here. Now they're piling on top of each other like a bunch of... Oh, I fucking fell down. Come on in, you dickheads. Beat them to death with an electrically charged rod of doom. Back into the cavity of destiny. All the way to the end. And we have uh, a locked chest. All right. Bingo. Uh... Man, I trying to find this like kitchens or plumbing for dipshits is really hard. I might have to look it up on the like, official Discord and be like, where the smeg is this stuff? I want a sink. And I want ovens. There we go. Ooh. Alright, now we do the looting. Ah, nice. Well, that's alright. But the rest of the store, I think, apart from what's in the back room, there's a few crates, isn't there? But the rest of the store is just going to be like bits and bobs. Um, like that. Like a jug of water. Yay. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, there we have it. Um... Yeah, no no such luck on, on the books. I'm starting to think that maybe I should just stick to cracker books or that sort of thing. I don't know what sort of game stage or loot stage I need in order to get those particular books that I'm looking for. Kitchens for dumb shits and plumbing for dumb shits. Um, I don't even know, actually, if there's something you can spec into. Because you've got vehicles for dumb shits there, and the other two just don't seem to exist. Forge your head, concrete... Magnum crafting. Yeah. You see what I mean? So, um, I'm a little bit... What? <laughs> With it, really? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Um, maybe you guys can help me in the comments. I'm assuming it's a loot-only book that allows you to make ovens and stuff like that. Um, working player sinks. Plumbing for dip dumb shits. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's... that's. Ooh, hello. That is all the loot that we got out of there. Another 20 auger. Bunch of stuff for forges and stuff like that, which is quite nice. 16 magnum. Loads of wire tools. I think I'm just going to go straight to Joel and sell sell these things uh, because I don't need that many wire tools. I think he's only going to accept three anyway, so... Um, but still, uh, I think it's probably worth trying to sell them than keeping hold of that many wire tools. There we go. So that's what we get from a working stiff. And our current game stage of 134 with a loot stage uh, of 161. That's what we get from the big working stiff tools. I think we've kind of run out of time for today's episode, so we're going to have to leave the restaurants until uh, next time. But we've got Proud and Pete's there. We've got Hurry Harry's over there as well. And hopefully that will provide us with... Uh, to be honest, if I don't get anything out of those two, I'm just going to go hit up the cracker books in town. But we also really need to just get on with a load of mining. But like I said, nitrate, coal, lead. Um, and start processing the amount of brass that I've got into bullet casings, bullet tips. Get those darts up to the horde base. Um... Upgrade to hard and steal some of it. I think I don't think I need to upgrade much of it, but yeah, it's going to be a hell of a horde. The game stage is marching on. We're starting to get tough zombies. I've seen the occasional de demolisher around just waltzing in the wild uh, life while I was uh, moving house as well. That was not a good sight. So it's going to be an intense horde night. We're going to need a lot of ammo, a lot of ammo. Anyway, ladies and gents, we've moved house. We are finally. We are now in this city on the edge of the wastelands. And uh, we're going to be moving on with this from now on. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.